Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be taking the impact out to see if I can find some more doves. It's about 9.45 in the morning. Um, usually I go out in the evening, but I haven't been seeing them lately and I think they changed up their schedule a little bit. So I'm heading out early in the morning uh, to see if we can find something to shoot at. There's a big flock of pigeons right now. Perfect. All right, I'm going to pull over. And I forgot to trade out the empty mag for a full one, so brief pause while I grab a full mag. And some of you have been asking why I have that ridiculous sock on my air bottle. And it's just for this reason right here, so I don't scratch the hood of my truck. All right, so the magazine's full, camera's on. We're back in business. I lined up on this one because it's facing away from me. And usually the lighter pellets, like the 18 grain pellets I'm using today, don't have the foot pounds to make it all the way through a breast and into the vitals on a big bird like a pigeon. So um, the back, there's less meat and less protection for the vitals. It's always important to remember when you're hunting to uh, shoot in a safe direction. It's also important to understand how far your projectile can carry and what kind of damage it can do downrange. And just like that, we're off to a good start with three pigeons down. And we're not the only ones after these pigeons, so I better get out and pick them up. Pigeons are just the more commonly domesticated version of the wild doves that are in the area. They're in the same family and they taste basically the same, especially here on the farm where they're both eating natural things like the corn that's meant for the cattle. A lot of people will shy away from the idea of eating a pigeon because they just picture a dirty street pigeon, but out here they might as well just be doves. Today I'm using my FX Impact M3 Compact in 22 caliber. It's factory stock with no changes aside from the suppressor that's a Donnie FL Koi. The scope is an Arkin SH4 Gen 2 and I've been using the Eagle Vision action camera attachment. That's about all the break we get because the pigeons started circling back again. I've noticed that it takes a large flock of pigeons a lot longer to land than a small flock, but eventually these guys land and I line up for another shot. This shot is a little bit out there for an 18 grain pellet, but I decided to try it anyways. Looks like there was a little bit more wind than I had anticipated and it pushed to the left and hit the lower portion of the body. I tried for a sparrow a little closer on the wire, but just knocked a few feathers off of its head. House sparrows come in in flocks of hundreds and I never pass up a chance to shoot at them when I can. I thought I missed that first one until I was able to look back on the camera footage and see that I did get them, but it's hard to tell. And that's all I had time for today, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. The